Welcome to the Expert Forex video on U.S. Spot FX Brokers. This is the second in a series of videos for U.S. traders using Expert Forex, EAs, and trading tools. This video series discusses U.S. Spot FX trading regulations. U.S. Spot FX Brokers, that's the video you're watching now. Expert Forex EAs at U.S. Brokers, Offshore Spot FX Brokers, Funding and Withdrawing from Offshore Brokers. Before we get to subject matter, we have two important disclaimers to review. This first one is about risk. Futures, options, and currency trading all have large potential rewards, but they also have large potential risk. You must be aware of these risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest in these markets. Don't trade with money you can't afford to lose. This is neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell futures, options, or currencies. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profits or losses similar to those discussed in these videos. The past performance of any trading system or methodology is not necessarily indicative of future results. Since we are discussing brokers today, we must tell you that information presented in this video, the Expert Forex website, or any correspondence with Expert Forex is, to the best of our knowledge, true at the time of writing, and it is not a recommendation. Circumstances can change the validity of the information. Readers who use information we provide on brokers have the responsibility to conduct their own due diligence. As broker information is not a recommendation, Expert Forex and all associated with Expert Forex cannot be held liable for any losses incurred due to the use of this information. Now, we will discuss these brokers, starting with brokers geared towards manual trading. Any links will also be in the video description. In the United States, we start with TD Ameritrade, which was acquired by Charles Schwab. And here's the link. We also have Interactive Brokers, and here is the link to them. Both brokers offer exclusively manual trading on proprietary platforms. They do not provide or accept MT4. There is no EA trading with either one of them. Both of these brokers are an advantage if you like to trade stocks, options, exchange traded funds, that is ETFs, and futures on a single platform. Four regulated brokers in the United States that we are aware of offer MT4 trading of currencies. They are Awanda, and there's a link, Forex.com by Gain Capital, IG USA, and ATC Brokers. Each broker has strengths and weaknesses. You, as a trader, must conduct your own due diligence. Awanda, Forex.com, and IGUSA are all market makers. IGUSA requotes, which can be troublesome for EA trading, causing significant slippage past stops. We noticed the requoting issue with IGUSA in July of 2019 while demoing the Expert Forex Grid Trend Multiplier. IG was a relative newcomer to the U.S. markets at the time. We encourage you to demo with them to see if requoting is still an issue. The issue is not operative with IG outside the United States, that is, IG Australia and United Kingdom. ATC Brokers is not a market maker. However, they charge a $10 commission per standard lot round turn. 
Forex.com and ATC Brokers offers metals, but Oanda and IGUSA do not. MT5 is not offered in the United States for spot FX with any of these brokers. When operating EAs with U.S. brokers, you must ensure your EA is either U.S. compliant by design, this is preferable, it must not hedge, it must either comply with FIFO or open one trade at a time on a given instrument, or U.S. compliant by configuration. This is critical if you are using an EA that works both overseas and in the U.S. Pay attention to detail with your settings. You are responsible for keeping your settings compliant. Make sure your broker does not requote. When you demo before live trading, test for profitability, compliance with U.S. regulations, margin use. Some systems will rapidly deplete your entire margin. Avoid them. Presence of requoting. Example, if your stop is 100 pips, you should stop out within a few pips of that. If your 100 pip stop is stopping out at 150 pips, you are being requoted into loss. Do not trade live with any requoting broker. Do run the same test with two or three brokers with the same start date. Now we'll discuss funding and withdrawing from U.S. live accounts. U.S. traders using U.S. brokers will most likely use ACH transfers to and from their checking accounts. You will provide your bank routing number and checking account number when setting up your live trading account via ACH. U.S. traders using U.S. brokers may also use debit cards. Note, U.S. debit cards cannot be used for overseas brokers. We're going to briefly discuss United States taxation of spot FX income, so we have a short disclaimer for that. We are providing general information. This is not tax advice. Expert Forex does not provide tax, financial, or legal counsel. You should contact a certified public accountant, that is a CPA, who is very familiar with Schedule D, as well as IRS Sections 475, 988, and 1256 for questions specific to trading income and your tax filings. Before we begin, Reference links will be included in the video description. Spot FX income and losses are taxed as ordinary capital gain and loss under IRS Section 988. Capital gains are reported on Schedule D. Futures and options income are taxed under Section 1256 as 60% long-term gains and 40% short-term gains. Now, let's discuss U.S. brokers and tax reporting very briefly. A U.S. broker will provide you with Form 1099-B to use in your tax filing preparation. You will receive the form generally as a PDF between mid-January and mid-February each year. This video covered spot FX brokers available in the U.S., considerations for trading with them, funding and withdrawal, and taxation of your trading income. Our next video will cover using Expert Forex EA specifically on a U.S. broker account. Thank you for watching.